Hey, what's up, everybody? On today's episode, we're talking feeding corals. So let's get to it. Okay, so over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be target feeding specific corals with certain uh, different things, whether it be uh, reef roids, reef chili, mysis, uh, things of that nature to see the response the corals give to it. And hopefully it'll give you a better idea if you're uh, one of the people that like to target feed corals of items that you can pick and what the reaction of your corals may be. But before we do, uh, if you're a first time viewer and you like the content feel free to hit the, the subscribe button down below if you have a question or a comment do that as well if you're a returning subscriber and you have a question or a comment you also feel free to drop a comment down below so let's get on with the video and see what the corals do okay so for this episode what we're going to concentrate on is reefroids by polyp labs and also uh, Mysis shrimp from Hakari. What I'm going to be demonstrating is the response that some corals give to the reef roids and what I specifically use reef roids to feed and also what I do with uh, the Hakari mysis. The Hakari mysis is basically really simple. Um, I just take two cubes out and specifically what I'm doing with the two cubes is my intention is to distract some of the fish with uh, a little bit of the mysis and then go in and feed my um, coral and um, hopefully they'll be distracted long enough for the coral to take it in. Now with the reefroids what you do is and the instructions say that for a hundred gallons you would do one teaspoon. Now I have a 90 gallon tank with uh, and um, I use the 100 gallon measurement uh, just to make sure that I have enough for the for my spot feeding and I'll just go ahead and use the top to level it off and that goes into this jar and then you just give it a stir and what I'm looking to do is break up any uh, powdery chunk that's stuck together so while the mysis shrimp is thawing out, that's all ready to go. So let's go over to the tank now. What I'll be using to feed the corals today is Julian's thing from Two Little Fishies. I like this um, to use this to feed the corals because it gives me the extension I need to reach the coral without having to stick my hands all in the tank. Okay, so as you can see here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking uh, mysis shrimp and starting with the Wellzo. The reaction to the mysis when I drop it into the Wellzo is pretty immediate. You can see here it's starting to get the tentacles out and grabbing the mysis and pulling it into its mouth. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be speeding this up so this way you can see the actual reaction of the coral and uh, I'll be giving a close-up shot so you can see what happens. Now what I'm concerned with here is not so much feeding the whole coral, but at least getting uh, one or two mouths involved in the feeding. So this way the whole coral benefits from it. You can tell that even though this is a, a large quantity of mysis that I dropped in on it, in no time at all, this coral uh, basically takes and consumes every bit of it. Now what I do is when I feed my corals, I usually do it once or twice a week um, to make sure that I don't overfeed any coral. Now, even though this is rather quick because I sped it up, this whole process took about 10 to 12 minutes to complete. Now over to the eight cans. I'm dropping some mysis in on the back part portion of this eight can as well as 
uh, you'll see in a second, uh, putting some of the reefroids on the surrounding ones. You can see the immediate reaction to it receiving the reefroids. Um, and also, what I will be doing is putting reefroids in on the front head, the front polyp of the one to the left as I get the camera focused in on it. Now coming up, you're going to be seeing, even though you don't see it actually go on the polyp, I do, it's right here, it's already been dosed with the reefroids and you can see the tentacles pulling it into the mouth. You can see that orangey haze that's in the center. That's the actual reefroids that has been dropped in. You can see the back head has the mysis already in its mouth. A cans, no matter how much mysis you use, will just simply devastate any of the mysis. But one thing you will notice is a mucusy like substance that it uses to catch uh, whatever food is drifting in the water column, and it pulls that into the coral. You can see as the current or the fish swim by the coral, this mucusy substance is really evident, as you can see right here. Now, what that is, is it's caught a lot of the reef roids uh, that has been flowing into the water column, and it's using that to pull it into its mouth. Now, the coral is starting to return to normal as it finishes up its meal. And now I'm just going to show a brief clip of what happens when the zoanthid guarded gets sprayed with the reefroids. You can see here the other chaos pulls it in and reacts to the feeding right away, as well as the Pandora Pally in the bottom screen. They do take this in, even though it's a long process and you don't really see it as much as you would see over the other as the other ones do. Right here, the purple green candy cane, you can see the heads are very, very swollen. It is actively taking it in. And this is the only thing that I've really found um, that this coral will eat readily and take it in and has its reaction to. This is the most reaction over food that I've seen this coral have in a long time. Now, the following clips are going to be with the blues on at night. You can see here the uh, Jason Fox Barney coral has put out a mucus, basically mucus strands to catch it, um, all the stuff in the water column. The same thing is happening over by the zoanthids. And you can see the reaction to that the Favias have to this is they start putting their, their feeder tentacles out. This is the only time besides when I first put the lights on in the morning that I see this happen. Now what this clip is going to show is the reaction from the eight cans and also the surrounding corals. You can see their tentacles are flexing to catch whatever food is in the water. And also this uh, micromusa, this is the time that I see the most uh, feeder tentacles coming out. Here is the neon green candy cane. And as you can see by the dark stripes in it, those are feeder tentacles that the coral puts out and this, again, this only I only see this around the time when I put the lights on in the morning, but this is with lights on and reefroids in the tank. This coral is actively trying to catch the reefroids that are floating in the water. So as far as my impression of the reefroids on this coral, it's really, really good because the reaction is really great. It actively goes after the food and I feel confident that I'm feeding it and I accredit this to its growth. Here's a favia with its, uh, you can just about make out against the dark stripes in it, the feeder tentacles out and looking for food. Here's another close up of the night before Christmas favia. You can see on the left edge, as I try to get it here, uh, more sweepers out looking for food. And again, this is only with reefroids in the tank. There's a nice shot of the, the sweepers out. Now here's another close-up of the Jason Fox Barney Coral. You can see those little filaments that are coming out are looking for food that's floating by as the others are. Um, this coral 
only did this when I put reefroids in the tank. I tried other foods and never got this reaction. And I was simply amazed that when the reefroids went in the tank, that this coral put these filaments out to grab the food. So I can contribute that to the health of the coral and that it's actively pursuing food as much as all the others do the same. So what's my impression of, of reefroids? As far as I'm concerned, in the time that I've been in the hobby, I've never seen a reaction over a coral food as much as I've got out of the reefroids, and I will be continuing and testing it over the course of time to see how it does. And I still will be using mysis to feed the larger corals. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. And as always, this is Scott, and I'll see you soon by the Reef Tank.